Welcome to the ACFO Southeast Asia and Pacific Newscast. A new way to showcase our partners, let you know what we've been up to recently and much more. ACFO develops open source mobile and web tools and supports organizations to collect, understand, and share data for better decision making. ACFO Flow can be used for tracking and tracing of commodities along value chains. We've been working with Oots Certified, an organization that promotes sustainable farming practices in cacao, coffee and tea across the globe. And we are here with Eldo Soplantila from Oots Indonesia. Eldo, how does high quality data contribute to your work? Having a very good and high quality data, it will then get us tracking system, good traceability systems to analyze how we can improve better, especially in the farm level. Could you walk us through what happened so far in the office and in the field? Last March 2016, we have an enumerated training together with ACFO directly in the field, which is in Flores, where ACFO and UTS trained uh, the key farmers how to use the application. And we also introduced the farmers on the IT and technology side. And what are the next steps? UTS is also seeing ourselves in the future to become one of the most innovative certification program and label. So we think that uh, having the good relationship and partnership with ACFO, we will also then have more high quality data in the future that for sure can help and support the farmers in planning doing better productivity to improve their agriculture so that they will then create the vision and mission of Uts, which is better farming for a better future. In February 2016, ACFA was part of a week-long training in Fiji focused on disaster response. We worked alongside the Ministry of Education and other partners to better prepare for disasters. Just one week later, by chance, Cyclone Winston made landfall in Fiji. The Category 5 cyclone was the largest ever in Southern Hemisphere. Aqua Flow was used by Ministry of Education to assess damage to schools throughout the islands of Fiji. Let's have, Let's have a, closer a closer look. look. Welcome to this beautiful country, Fiji. Uh, the country was devastated by Category 5 cyclone, Tropical Cyclone Winston. Did a lot of damage to the whole nation. And in regards to the uh, education sector, it did quite a substantial damage to the infrastructure, to the lives of the teachers and of course the students. Here is a good example of that devastation. We are here at one of the schools that was destroyed by the cyclone. Uh, the school name is Wenganake District School. It's a primary school, also has an early childhood education. As you can see, the level of damage uh, that was caused by the cyclone, it's uh, pretty substantial, but the people are resilient. It, uh, it demolished the whole structure of the building, from the rooftops, some of the buildings, the, the substructure of the building, which is the foundation, was swept away by, by the tidal waves. ECPO, it really fast track everything for us, not like before. The idea that we used before, we do it mainly in the field by writing papers, right, filling in forms. With the help of that, only this phone, I was just entering all the data into this phone and it's very useful. So I had to enter, enter and, and send it straight away. I think we were the only ministry uh, during this 60-day mm. period that had the most accurate mm. and fastest data you can pull mm. out of a natural disaster mm. of this category mm. and, uh, and to get data you know just a few days after the cyclone that's pretty amazing and then you're getting the information you need in order for decision makers to make the right decision you know and getting the relief supplies out to the children it's it's pretty amazing so ECFO has really done wonders for the ministry you know. loving it yeah The Ministry of Education was um, fortunate to have a tool that, were, that enabled the Ministry to get all the information that we needed to make informed decisions and give the right information to stakeholders and uh, our donor partners that uh, assisted us in um, rebuilding 
our schools. So, what's new? So now that Aquaflow is being used across many countries to conduct millions of surveys, we want to take it to the next step. We've come up with various mobile field testing kits. A strategic partnership with SNP last year, an international NGO, has helped accelerate this process. To get a more detailed view of one of those field test kits, let's talk to Joy. So Joy, tell us a bit more about what we are looking at. At Aquo, we are developing various field tests which can form part of your data collection. All of these tests are integrated with the Aquaflow app. The first set of field tests measures water quality parameters. Let me show you how the pH strip test works. To start your test, you open your Aquaflow app and then you calibrate it for the lighting conditions. This will take care of any lighting conditions present during the test. Once the phone has been calibrated, you dip the strip in your sample of water and you place it on your color card. Once you do that, you take a photograph of the strip along with the color card and the phone analyzes the actual color of the pH strip and gives you a reading. This reading forms part of your survey. So what kind of impact will this have for those using the kits? Organizations will be able to test their water and soil in the future very regularly. For example, current strip test solutions depend on an individual reading the color and matching it against a color gradient. This leads to very subjective readings which are not at all reliable. Are there any plans to use this in Southeast Asia and Pacific? In Southeast Asia, we are going to pilot the soil testing strips in the Vegetable Kits program of the World Vegetable Center in Siem Reap, Cambodia. The objective of this program is to ensure food security in rural Cambodia by using kitchen gardening. By better understanding the soil properties, the families will be able to optimize their vegetable yields. To conclude, these mobile low-cost testing kits will enable organizations to conduct more regular consistent field test at scale and we are very excited about it. Thank you for watching this newscast. We hope you enjoyed it and we'd love to hear your feedback. Come and meet us in one of our offices in Southeast Asia and Pacific. You can find more information about our activities and partners on aqua.org. Hope to see you soon.